fully documented sledding reenactment of communist government. It is appropriate that you be familiarized with Carl's dynamic background within the communist industry. Both as a communist and as a counterpart for the FBI within the Soviet apparatus. We first present some of the highlights of Carl's career as revealed in question and answer period with which he poses his lecture across the nation. These are some of the questions Carl Prussian most frequently is asked. Mr. Prussian, my liberal acquaintances contend that communism is basically political and really does not plan the violent overthrow of the United States government. Is this true? In the first place, communism is not political. It's criminal. For either a Republican or a Democrat to consider communism a political philosophy is comparable to asking a fire bug to be a member of the fire commission. In the second place, as a communist, I was trained in every vicious and insidious technique of violence. Communists don't sit around eating cross marks. They study things like how to corrupt the minds of college kids and how to poison your drinking water. Right here on our American soil, as men starry to make free, there are Moscow-directed schools. I attended one in Farmington. The teacher came from the Kremlin. Her name, Gertrude Kessler. Occupation, professional saboteur. Now what did she teach her class of clean cut American young people? Like the poor innocent kids who studied for weeks to save their life to San Francisco. Here are some of the playful little things that I learned. Insurrection, seizure of police stations, interruption of communications, house to house fighting, street to street fighting, setting up a barricade, and I was trained rigorously regimented. How many patriots are put on a diet of bread and water for a week at a time to demonstrate how tough they will be? the communist takeover come. I was. Violence is the backbone of the sinews, bones in the blood of communists. And what it craftily calls peaceful coexistence, communism has killed more human beings than all of the shooting wars ever together since the beginning of recorded time. Peaceful coexistence is peaceful no-existence. It is the present war strategy of the communists. Communists are not only violent in their country of unwilling followers, they are violent with each other. Stalin put to death 70% of the men who brought him to power. Make no mistake about it. From the telephone front lines leading in and out of the Pentagon, to every stockpile of ammunition we have, a communist, a foreign agent, posing as a good American, stands by to perform a Moscow directed duty. This is political, a rat snake. 